Would Superman villains be scary in real life? Short answer, yeah. Alright, see ya. But if you want to know why, I can explain. So I have two series on my account. One is called Oh my god! And the second of which is called god, I'm old. And in both of those two series, the answer is usually a combination of the two. Some villains are yes, some villains are no. But Superman's different because I feel like almost every one of his major villains is an obvious yes. Because like I said in my rating Spider-Man villains video, there's a difference between scary and creepy. While most Superman villains aren't creepy, they're scary in like a similar way to if the government were to be like, Hey everyone, just wanted to let you know there's a world ending asteroid that's going to hit Earth in 24 hours. There's nothing anybody can do about it. Just thought you should know. Um, do whatever you're going to do in your last 24 hours. Peace out. There's an existential fear that would come with these characters being real. Like you would know that the, 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 these people are just so powerful. If they decide you're dead, there's nothing you can do about it. To prove my point, I'm just going to Google Superman villains and just go over the first few that come up. All right, Superman villains. All right, yeah, so this isn't a good sign for us. All right, would Brainiac be scary in real life? Um, yeah, like I uh, if he showed up and he's like, hey, I'm gonna put your cities in a bottle unless you have somebody who can stop me We'd be like, oh, we can't I, I think the reason I'm making this video is because on all of my would blank villains be scary in real life videos The number one comment is always do Superman next um, And I don't I don't know what to do Brainiac's so powerful that he's not just considered a just a Superman villain like when he shows up It usually takes the whole Justice League to beat him. So what what do you want? What, what am I supposed to do against this guy? I'm gonna give Brainiac a 10 out of 10 Lex Luthor's a bit of a curveball because um, Lex Luthor totally already could exist um, Just in real life um, And that's pretty scary if I lived in a universe where I knew that doomsday was somewhere out there I would never sleep again in some iterations of this character, um, when you kill it one way, it's reborn, and it can't be killed that same way again. I'm gonna keep it real, I don't think we could beat Doomsday once. Um, but, you know, I guess that's maybe a good thing, because then we don't have to deal with that rejuvenation aspect. Like, look at this guy. This is a scale model. I'm gonna make a scale model. This is, this is, this is Doomsday, and then this is me. This is me next to Doomsday. Is there any questions? Dark side. Isn't, isn't Darkseid like the main villain of all of DC? Yeah, no, I think this guy's scary. Yeah, I th isn't, isn't his goal to like kill everything ever? Darkseid 10 out of 10 scary. Listen, I know that this isn't the traditional goofs, gaffs, and sillies that you've come to expect from the Hyphen channel. I really don't know what anybody could do if any of these villains became real. I think the only way these villains would be any less scary would be if Superman also became real with them. If Superman was real with them, they would still be horrifying. Something that's super funny about Superman is he like has infinite strength but then sometimes when he fights these villains he just like lets them smack him around for a bit and you know what since we're on the topic of superman there's something that i've wondered my whole life and i want to ask all of you because i'm sure one of you knows the answer how was clark kent so muscular like i know the obvious answer is well because he's superman he does stuff every day but that just makes it more complex because superman has strength feats like pulling the earth so when you're working with a character that has seemingly infinite strength how do they work out you know how could any weight given to him be enough for him to gain muscle. I know that if you lift lighter weights enough with high enough repetition, you'll gain muscle, but with how strong Superman is, the heaviest weight on earth would be like deadlifting a piece of paper. And it doesn't matter how many times you do that, you're not gonna look like this. Also, look at this guy. With how muscular he is, there's no way that he could have time to work out to stay in shape like that and be a reporter and be Superman. Also, before somebody complains, the reason the gameplay in the background is a Batman game is because I can't think of a Superman game other than the Superman Returns game that EA developed in 2006. And I don't think that game was ever even actually completed. And I don't think you all wanna see gameplay footage of that. I wanna see game of that? No. Do you remember when this video was about Superman villains? So to summarize, yeah, Superman villains would be scary in real life. They'd all be horrifying. I wouldn't, I would be in constant existential dread. I don't think I could ever sleep at night. All right, well, that's all for this video. Um, if you want to join my Discord, there's a link in the description. You do you, you know. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye.